few days ago, I showed you guys how you can use AI, replace the background of your product photos and then animate them. Today, I'm going to show you the full breakdown of the whole process. This process requires a decent PC with a dedicated GPU with at least 8GB of VRAM to be able to run comfy UI and stable diffusion locally on your PC. And the second part is animating that image. That part is done in a different platform called Dream Machine, which is not entirely free. You can generate a few videos with Dream Machine. When you sign up for the first time, you get like 30 generations for free, but then you have to subscribe to use more GPU hours on their platform. All right, without further ado, let's begin. First, download the workflow from the Google Drive link that I've provided in the description below. Next, open up Comfy UI, then drag and drop the workflow into Comfy UI. If you are missing any of the custom nodes, you can install them via Comfy UI Manager. Don't worry, I'll show you guys how to install all the necessary nodes and download all the necessary files for this workflow to work at the end of this video. All right, this workflow has a few different sections. First, we have the input section. For this example, I'm going to be using Nike Air Jordans. Click and drag the image of the product into the workflow in the load image section. Next, you can write your prompt over here. For this one, I've written urban city scene, out of focus, busy city street background, soft natural light. Use a realistic checkpoint. For this one, I'm using realistic vision version six. Next, we have the pre-processing section. Here, we separate the background of the original image replace it with the AI generated image. Finally, we use IC light to match the color and the transparency of the product photo with the AI generated background. Finally, we have the detailer over here. This one helps with detailing the logo, the text. Last but not the least, we have the upscaling node. All right, once everything is set up properly, if I hit Q prompt, we will go through all the different nodes. As you can see, Comfy UI has already separated product from the background. Then it's using the case sampler. Added some detailing over here. Finally, it's upscaling the image. And we have the final image over here. So from this white background, we've turned it into a nice city scene. All right, you can write whatever prompt you want over here and it will generate that background for you. Next, we'll learn how to animate this. Go to this link to access Luma Labs Dream Machine. Then to animate the image that you just created, in the prompt section, Click this image icon to load your product photo. For my case, I'll load this one. You can type a prompt to animate, or you can just hit this icon to let Dream Machine decide how to animate it. And then click this button to generate the animation. And here you go. So using AI, you can replace the background of your image and then animate it, make cool videos like this. First, we need to go to this website and download Git. Next, we need to download and install Python. I am using Python 3.10.6. Go to this link, scroll all the way down, and over here under Files, download Windows Installer 64-bit. While installing Python, make sure you select Add Python to Path. You'll see there's an option with a checkbox in the installation process. After that, we're going to be downloading Comfy UI. Go to this link, scroll down, click Installing Comfy UI, and then click Direct Link to Download. It will start downloading Comfy UI for you. The file will be in 7-zip format, so you can also install 7-zip to unzip the file. After unzipping the folder, go into Comfy UI Windows Portable folder and click Run NVIDIA GPU.bat file. It will open up this command prompt and start installing Comfy UI into your system. Once the installation process is complete, you'll see this link over here. Hold your control button and click this link to open Comfy UI. The default Comfy UI space will look like this. Now we need to download a few stuff in order to make our workflow work in this new Comfy UI environment. The first thing we're gonna need is Comfy UI Manager. Go to this link, click the code button over here, and then Click the Copy URL to Clipboard button right next to the link. Go to your Comfy UI folder. Under Comfy UI Windows Portable, go into Comfy UI. Then go to Custom Notes. Here, on the address bar on your Explorer window, type CMD to open a common prompt window. Once that opens, type git, that is G-I-T, space, 
clone, C-L-O-N-E, space, then you paste the URL for Confi UI Manager. Hit enter, and it will install the Confi UI Manager into your system. Once the installation is complete, close this window. Also close Confi UI because you have to restart Confi UI in order to Confi UI Manager to load. So we'll close Confi UI. Also close the original command prompt window that opened up when you were installing Confi UI. Confi UI Windows Portable folder and click run NVIDIA GPU dot All right. We have the Confi UI Manager installed into this Confi UI environment. Now we have to download the checkpoint model. For this experiment, we are using a realistic checkpoint model called Realistic Vision. You can find it on this link on Civit AI. Simply go to this link, click the version 5.1 hyper model, and hit download. Once it finishes downloading, go to your downloads folder and move it into Confi UI's models checkpoint folder. So go to Confi UI Windows Portable folder. Inside that, go to Confi UI. Then we have the models folder. And finally, the checkpoint folder. It will put your checkpoint here. Once that's done, go back to Confi UI, click the refresh button a few times. I will show you your checkpoint model loaded under load checkpoint node. Now we're going to install all the necessary nodes to run the custom workflow. Again, drag and drop the workflow image into Confi UI. It will tell you what nodes it's missing. Click Confi UI Manager. Go to Install Missing Custom Nodes. Go over here. We'll start installing all of these one by one. Once all of these nodes are installed, we'll also search for a node called the KJ Nodes for Confi UI. After installing the KJ Nodes, search for the IP adapter. Confi UI IP adapter plus, install it. Go to Hugging Face and download the IC Lite models. Then Go to this link and download this upscaler. Once the files are downloaded, move them into Confi UI. So I'll click those files, click cut over here, go to my Confi UI Windows Portable folder. In there, I'll go to Confi UI, models, under models, I'll find unit over here. Then I'll create a folder called ic light. I'll paste them here. Then I'll go back to my downloads folder. I'll move this one into Confi UI's upscaler model folder. My Confi UI Windows Portable folder, Confi UI models here, upscale models. I'll paste the upscaler model over here. After downloading the IC Lite models, we need to download a few models for IP adapter to work. For that, go to IP Adapter Plus page on this link. Download all of these models and make sure you rename them how it's written over here. First, make a selection of the name. Press Control C on your keyboard to copy the name of the file. Go to your Confi UI installation folder. Under Confi UI, go to Models, and then you'll see the Clip Vision model. Here, under file name, replace the file name with the name that you just copied. Click save, it will start downloading. The Clip Vision files will go into Confi UI, Models, Clip Vision, and the IP adapter files will go into Confi UI, Models, IP adapter. Once all the custom nodes and the necessary files are downloaded and installed, restart Confi UI, under input, load image, Choose file to upload, select your product image, write your prompt, and just hit Q. And it will do the whole process for you. And there you go. Product, background replacement, and relighting using AI. I know the installation process is a bit grueling, but once you have completed that, you can always use this workflow to generate awesome backgrounds for your product image. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or if you run into any problem while installing Confi UI or any of the dependency nodes. I'll try to help you guys in the comments. And if you already have Confi UI installed and when you drag and drop the workflow and you're facing problems, I recommend using a different folder and doing a fresh install of Confi UI. You can also try updating all of your nodes on Confi UI just to make sure everything is up to date so that the workflow runs smoothly.
Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.